All right. Um, I know I've been negative for the past couple of times. It's D again. Um, okay, here's the thing. I know I've been negative in a lot of these things that I've been doing, but I have just read the Fantastic Four, issue number three, and I actually really freaking liked it. It was good. It was very much old school Fantastic Four. It was Reed ignoring his wife again, like he always does, trying to come with some magical cure to save Johnny this time, not Ben. You got uh, Ben talking about how he loves doing a whole like team up with superheroes again, which was awesome to see, mind you. That was very awesome to see Ben Grimm team up with somebody. It was an old school like Spider-Man team up, like Fantastic Four team up. Was, I love those comic books back then. I bought like a whole collection of those things. Really awesome. I love the team us back in the day. Really, really good stuff. But there's also uh, Sue spending more time with her kid, Franklin. And you find out, like, Val, her other kid, went to go live with Doom. That was uh, kicking the balls right there. Holy shit. So, yeah. And Johnny. Johnny is humble because he died. It took Johnny Storm kind of dying to make him fucking humble. How the hell did that happen? He even makes like a couple of jokes in the comic books about how he, how he don't refer to him first, refer to himself in the first person anymore, which is awesome. You know, it sucks like seeing Johnny's like down and out like that because he's kind of like the mascot of Fantastic Four. People probably say that Ben Graham is the mascot because he's like covered in rocks and shit. But Johnny, Johnny is the fucking mascot of the Fantastic Four because he is a freaking showboat. But it was a cool, it was a cool story. It was very, like, just, like, it was an individual comic that wasn't part of, like, some big damn miniseries or some big hoopla about some event coming up. It was just, it was just a Fantastic Four comic, and it felt good to read that. Like, I really want to read issue number four just so I can see what happens next. This is all Marvel Now stuff, too, so, yeah, I'm reading, like, new comics. I read new comics. I just don't like new comics. Because it's kind of taken away from it. But, like, reading this and also read the Uncanny Avengers, that whole thing going on, it's not even a damn event. And the story is freaking powerful. The Uncanny Avengers. If you guys haven't read Uncanny Avengers yet, you are missing out because Uncanny Avengers is freaking awesome. I mean, they got some, like, undertones of, uh, actually, I guess it's more overtones of Earth X inside of it. But it's, like, a skewed version of Earth X. So... The way I see this Uncanny Avenger is kind of like how how JSA did Die Kingdom Come. It kind of reminds me of that. It's really it's really intense. It really has like some old school feel to it, but it's a lot of time travel and shit going on inside of it too. Kind of how Die Kingdom Come was also from the JSA series. That was about five years ago with DC. But yeah, Uncanny Avenger is awesome. All new X Men was awesome until Children of Adam. Then I really didn't want to read a, like a 12 issue miniseries. I told myself I don't really care about reading a like 12 or 7 issue miniseries of uh, the brand new X Men. I just, I, nah. Maybe I'll get to it. I have it sitting around somewhere. I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. But I did like all new X Men before Children of Adam. I thought it was cool all up until then. So, yeah. Um, I got nothing. That's it. Yeah, no complaints. No arguing. No sadness. No, I miss my DC. None of that stuff. There you go. You got one. You got one little podcast of me not being a bitch. There you go. Happy, happy birthday to you guys. Happy non-bitching birthday. Take it easy.